Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at what's in store today. Haunt the dead in Hallow's Wake. Prepare yourself for ghoulish delights set to tickle your bones and stalk your dreams. Many things go bump and bite in the night, though whether they claim a morsel or a mouthful depends on the creature entirely. Read on, if you dare, to unearth celebrations fit for crusader and corpse alike. So you guessed it, this is the spooky season update for Diablo Immortal. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail. Hallow's Wake returns. The Hallow's Wake limited time event re-emerges from the fading dusk with grisly fervor adventurer. From October 9th, 3am till November 6th, 2.59am local server time, creep through a vicious survivor's bane and terrifying howler's hunt to earn hallowed stones and trade them for macabre rewards. To earn hallowed stones, slaughter goblins and either survivor's bane or howler's hunt and visit the crone in Westmarch for daily rewards. The crone's wares are chocked full of holiday haunts. Trade hallowed stones for the new headless cosmetics, legendary items, legendary crests and more. Grizzly Survivor's Bane. So Survivor's Bane is one of two returning events and this is going to be slightly different for Hallow's Wake and the Spooky Season. Let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail as to what to expect. Survivor's Bane is rife with seasonal fright. Among the ghastly demons that plague your every move, you'll come face to face with haunting beings that only appear during Hallow's Wake. Supernatural forces from beyond your plane may be at work, narrowing your vision and occluding the dangers that surround you. Beware the terrors abound. A terrifying Howler's Hunt. So Howler's Hunt, I've been asking for this to be coming back to game for quite a few months now. And this is making a return on October 23rd. Howler's Hunt embodies a tradition from otherworldly realm letting you slip into the skin of a vicious werewolf. Within your first match of the day, Don the Nightmoon Curse cosmetic set to embrace your inner beast and strike fear into the hearts of enemies and allies alike. Now, for this, get a group of friends together and run it. It's honestly hilarious. If you run it without voice chat, it is the most funny thing to do. Hallow's Wake is a time for the dead and mad to lose their heads. Use your hallowed stones to snatch the newest headless cosmetics, which can be worn throughout the duration of Hallow's Wake. So these are limited time cosmetics that you can earn from trading in your hallowed stones. So you've got Headless Geyser, Headless Fire, and Headless Belfry, and that's what they look like. They're all just slightly different with the color scheme, um, but pretty awesome cosmetic. Don't forget to spend your hallowed stones before Hallow's Wake ends on November 6th where they vanish into the air like a spectre of the wind. Note that the headless cosmetics will remain in your inventory once the event is finished. Where to stir the fear in the hearts of your fellow adventurers until the end of Hallow's Wake. We also have Verdant Pageant um, Phantom Cosmetic. Now this is giving serious Dia de los Muertes vibes. It has the flowers, it has the ghosts, um, and yeah, that's what I'm getting from this cosmetic. It's got like the um, markings on the face and stuff. Um, it does look awesome. So it kind of ties in with Dia de los Muertes more than Hallow's Wake, I feel. Um, the barrier between the world of the living and that of the dead has become blurred and the souls that have come before us return to make their presence known. Their intentions are unclear, but the familiarity is unmistakable. The blending of these realms brings back items from past phantom markets, returning cosmetics from both the Arcane Calamity and Treacherous Reflections phantom markets. So this is available from October 9th at 3am till November 6th at 3am local server time. The Verdant Pageant um, Phantom Cosmetic materialises to decorate your wonder with sanguine threads. Considering that items from the phantom market are required randomly per draw, we want to provide the initial draw rates for each item to aid in deciding if you would like to engage with the event past your first free draw. So these are the drop rates. So Murderous Rage Emoji is 60%. Arcane Calamity Dark Orchid Weapon 15.63. Arcane Calamity Gilded Weapon 15.63. Verdant Pageant Portal 3.16. Treacherous Reflections Blood Moon Weapon 1.77. Arcane Calamity Dark Orchid Armor 1.14. Arcane Calamity Gilded Armor 1.14, Treacherous Reflection Blood Moon Armor 0 0.76, Verdant Pageant Unlimited Ultimate sorry, 0.63%, and lastly Verdant Pageant Cosmetic Set 0.13%. So that is the drop rate 
for all of the items available in the Phantom Market this time round. Embrace the Nightmoon Curse cosmetic. So if the Phantom Market isn't for you, the Nightmoon Curse cosmetic is still in game. Obviously, this is not for me. Like I said in my other video, you can see more details of this in that video on my page. Um, but yeah, the hairy leg vibes are just not for me. Um, obviously, this is available in different types. So you've got Standard, you've got Collector, and then the Collector Empowered, I think it's called. Um, no, Collector Deluxe Bundle which that one applies um, across class. So if you play more classes or swap classes a lot, it's worth getting that one. Return of Hallow's Wake Cosmetics. Cost I can't even talk. Costumes. A most curious illusion is unfolding before your eyes, Wanderer. Is this a trick of the light or a more nefarious magic afoot? Throughout Hallow's Wake, the costumes that once haunted the land made their triumphant return. For those that own the following costumes, don them once again in their macabre glory. So skeletal mage costume, grave robber costume, um, these are making a return and I have the Skeletal Mage and I'm really excited for this. Um, and Royal Guard costume is the last one. May your nights be haunted and your frights frequent as you revel in Hallow's Wake. So this is what the cosmetic looked like last year. I cannot wait to wear this again. But that is it from me today. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.